I use this common metaphor that plasticity is like snow on, I mean, I say it's a common metaphor because it was originally used to describe the difference between genetics and environmental influences. But I, I put it this way along with Pasqualioni, that's um, plasticity is like snow on a hill in winter. Mm -hmm. So if you go down the mountain, you go skiing the mount, down the mountain the first time, because this, it's a virgin hill, you can take almost any path you want, keeping in mind that there's trees here and rocks there, but you've got many degrees of freedom as you go down the hill. And being human, if you had a good run the first time, the next run might be very close to that. And if you keep that up, you'll develop tracks in the snow because it's right. plastic. Yeah. And you keep it up, they'll become ruts. And then you can't get out of it. Um, well, the plastic paradox is, is it's the same plasticity that gives rise to our flexibility in terms of our options when we choose to do something for the first time that also gives rise to rigidity. And so rigidity can be characterological rigidity or symptomatic rigidity our response to particular triggers and each time we respond uh, in a particular way we actually deepen the circuitry so this is something I convey to patients too that just having the insight doesn't necessarily undo that and that each time you do the thing that's bad for you you know you want to go into another relationship with uh, someone who treats you in a way that's demeaning you're going to deepen that pattern. I mean, I don't talk that way, but people understand that. And, you know, we're not here forever. So uh -huh. uh, what do you want to be doing? Do you want to be deepening that pattern or do you want to, you know, begin to undermine that pattern? 